How We Did It by Acme Design. Some months ago, in a western suburb not too far away, a bold plan was hatched. A ragtag collective of professional model makers and part-time horror fans working tucked away in the bowels of the intergalactic headquarters of Acme Design in Elgin, Illinois, joined forces to create a tribute worthy of an icon. Built in the 1970s by Bobby Walker and a team of WFLD stagehands, the original Sven Gulli coffin is a testament to the craftsmanship of old, having faithfully served first Jerry Bishop and then Rich Coase. But 40 years of hosting and the ongoing barrage of flocks of rubber chickens have taken their toll. The time had come to preserve the original coffin as a piece of Chicago television history and move Sven Gulli to new digs. Next began the painstaking process of researching and inspiration gathering. Research on the history of horror hosts, Sven Gulli, horror film, and art contributed to the well of images and information that would find their way to the door of the coffin. With the design in hand, fabrication on the coffin began. The myriad parts were stitched together in coffin design. The framework specially measured to fit Mr. Gooley was cut and fitted, forming the foundation of the new coffin. As the coffinary carpentry commenced, work also started on the lid, the focal point of the new coffin. A foam base was cut to form, upon which a net understructure was laid. Then water-based clay was layered upon the form and carefully contoured. Next, artists gathered around the lid to sculpt the details outlined in the coffin design. The finished clay sculpt was primed, placed on a giant gurney, and during a tremendous violent storm it was hoisted high above Elgin and electrified. Okay, not really. In one terrifying evening of stomach-churning tension, the one-of-a-kind primed clay sculpt was sprayed with a layer of polyurea hardcoat to create a mold. This mold was manfully separated from the foam base, and all remnants of clay were picked, scraped, and blasted out of the form. The mold was then sprayed again with the same material to create the first prototype casting, the results of which appeared on stage with Sven Gulli at Elgin's Nightmare on Chicago Street. The success of the mold firmly established, the time had arrived to make the one true coffin lid. Black urethane resin was spread inside the mold, reinforced with fiberglass, and tears. <laughs> this final casting was both lightweight and durable. The master casting was trimmed, fitted to the wooden frame. The double door was cut and the entire door was reinforced to stand up to many seasons of trips to meet the hand at the dungeon door. Next the coffin was primed, and the puppeted mechanics were added. Moving eyes, opening jaw, and the swinging door knocker. It was time again to gather around the coffin lid, with artists gathering to bring the sculpted design to life with bold colors and careful brush strokes. Finally, the interior of the coffin was fitted with regal purple satin upholstery and tricked out with ultra-quiet Sven conditioning and hip LED lights. <laughs> 